David's really a luminary in the field of plant biology and has won numerous of uh, major awards. His discoveries in small RNAs have been transformative for plant, not just plant science, but for, um, for all, all of biology and medicine. It was very exciting to learn what he had discovered about these tiny RNAs that are affecting the way our genes are um, turned on and off, the way organisms look and the way they act, um, all based on these tiny molecules that we didn't know about before. Years back, David coined the term that these small RNAs were the dark matter of genetics. We had no idea they were there, and now they explain a whole variety of phenomena for which we had no understanding before. So he's really been a major pioneer in that. He's an amazing scientist. Um, he really has been a leader in the field. And I think one of the things that's interesting is not just a leader in the small RNA field or the epigenetics field where I exist now, but he's also a leader in the virus resistance field. And he's done so much in both of these realms. David's work really relates to the Danforth Center's mission of trying to find ways to ultimately feed the world in an agricultural application of basic research. I lead one of the largest projects at the Danforth Center and it's called the VIRCA project, Virus Resistant Cassava for Africa project. And what we're doing is we're using biotechnology to enhance cassava for resistance against some of the major viruses that impact the crop. Cassava brown streak disease is in farmers fields right now and it is, uh, it is affecting the crop, it is reducing the yields and therefore affecting um, the amount of food that people have to eat and also the amount of money that they can make from their cassava crop. The cassava brown streak disease is estimated to be one of the seven most important threats to food security in the world. So there is a very urgent need to develop solutions to this problem. And what we are doing is we're taking some of the original discoveries that David made back in the late 1990s and developing, we've developed technologies from that. And we are using that and applying that in the cassava crop right now. And the results that we've had from this are, are very exciting. We have really excellent resistance to cassava brown street disease in both in the lab and we've also demonstrated that in the field. And none of this would be possible without the original discoveries that, that David reported. David's a fantastic choice for getting this award from the Danforth Center. He's a remarkable uh, plant scientist and he's trained a lot of great people and certainly influenced a lot of uh, excellent people throughout the world and is sort of held in the highest regard by all. I think the thing that I learned from David um, in, that I try to apply in my professional um, life is that he has this laser focus on what's most important in science and what will be most impactful and that um, that's where good science is, is by focusing on the most important issues and, and not getting caught up in the details. Here at the Donald Danforth Plant Science Center, we are completely focused on, on plants and the importance that has for the world. And David's discoveries in plant science have had not just a major impact in agriculture and in plant biology, but in biology as a whole, into medicine and into many other fields. He's one of the few scientists who's made really significant contributions both in medicine and in agriculture.